name of this law school and associated with that problem. Fairfield School of Law. The two catch words, I mean this Fairfield word, which is composed of two words, you can bifurcate, fair and field. That is what is required in real practice to have access to justice. There are a lot of people I'd like to thank. I must begin with uh, Vijay Kumar Bhadwalji, <coughs> the chairman of the FIMP Group of Institution, who has uh, extended this invitation to me. I am thankful to him. It's always a pleasure to address young entrants at the bar. And I always learn on these occasions. That's the other lesson. This institution has published, you might have got it. You will find three things are there. Written submission, 20 marks. Substance in argument, 40 marks. A skill of advocacy, almost the same thing, argument and skill. This contains 20 marks and your behavior. That was a time when the mood courts had started and uh, it was more of a debating kind of a thing. Things have actually improved. You know, what are the aspirations from the other side? What do the judges expect is something we never realized. When I joined the profession, first time when I came into the faculty, in fact, the teachers asked us, why have you come to the, why have you chosen law as a subject? Some of us, you know, we, I said, my father is a lawyer, so I want to become a lawyer. Bearers of the Bar Council of India, Honorable Chairman of Fair Deal Institute of Management and Technology. All people on the dais, off the dais, I am very happy to be part of you today. I am sorry I was a bit late. I should have been here to receive just a second. That this is something happening first time in the Guru Gobind Singh Indra Prastha University. I believe that the university is not only in sector 16C of Dwarka, all the colleges are a part of the university. Then I start thinking as to what to do differently. And the moment I have taken the charge with the committee of the Murku Society, I devised a one technique. The technique was that whenever I receive any kind of invitation from any places, I go for the trial. I was just putting on the notice, I inviting the student to come for the trial. And after winning the one occasion, this provides you a lot of opportunity. You are just given the limited set of facts. In moving, you are not having liberty to do any deep kind of facts. On the basis of existing facts, you learn so many things. You have to frame the issue. Framing issue is something which is a still considered priority of the senior lawyers. They are employing the junior lawyers, they ask them to do drafting work, but as for the framing issues themselves, they keep it for themselves. So framing issues is the one aspect, then after that, do we think about how to do the research? What are the relevant facts which has to be picked up? What are the relevant cases which has to be incorporated? And what are the things which should not be uttered when you are advancing your arguments? Then you have to do the footnotings. So these are the so many things which we learn by simply participant move to competitions. And from my experience, those students who have participated in move to competitions, now they are selling fit. Those who have represented the school at least three, four times, now they are performing very well here in the High Court or the Supreme Court. So as a teacher, my advice to all the students, whenever you are getting this opportunity, you always try to maximize it. You try to learn the thing. It is not a question of winning or losing the competitions. I may have, uh, uh, as a teacher, I have really. Good afternoon to all Mishka and uh, all the dignitaries who are sitting on the dais, on the dais, faculty of the Fairfield Law School and dear students, I must say, who are present in plenty. I am really 
motivated to see you all here today. You know, there is a saying in Hindi, Dane Dane pe likha hua hai, khane wale ka naam. There is a purpose for me to say this. In fact, when this uh, invite had come to me that uh, I should come for this function, I expressed my inability because I was to go out of Delhi. So I requested uh, one of my colleagues to be present here for this function. Now, unfortunately, there was some uh, urgent uh, uh, matter which had come up. So he had to stay back and simultaneously even my program going out of Delhi was cancelled. So it's like this, you know, uh, that uh, the original invite got revived and I am here before you. When I got this invite and uh, more specifically when any function related to mood form, I don't refuse. You know, this uh, I say because well, I thought that I am getting a mood court today. Well, later after coming to know that my experience sitting in the court, I, 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 I am very clear that a student is a more confident student, a more well-read student, a more well-researched student, a person who communicates in the language in a much better and a confident manner. That's the effect of the mooting which has made on this profession, the legal profession. You know, uh, well I have mooted quite a few uh, moot court competitions and uh, I find that not only uh, uh, students who are from other than law schools also, they are equally participating in it with full confidence and vigor. And uh, you are the people, you are the students who will, after graduating from law school, some may come to the litigation, some may go to corporate, some may become law officers, some may become legal advisors. My only request would be that try to be in touch with the subject because ultimately the subject is whatever you read, whatever the judgment which come from the Supreme Court and the High Court, which should be, be in touch with them and it will help you in your nature of duties which you will be performing. Be as an advocate, be as a law officer, be as a, you know, working as a, uh, an associate in a law firm. There may, be a, there may be a situation where well, I have been told by Mr. Nandalia there are around 160 students who have passed out from this college who are now judicial officers in different states. That is, that is, I must say, that's a very good number. And there may be amongst you who would be going, uh, who be going to become, who may become a law, uh, judicial officer. Judicial officer means you are a judge who would be judging the disputes between the litigants. And as a judge, it is very important for all of you to be in touch with the judgment, with the latest changes in the law, so that you can be able to, you know, perform your duties more effectively. Okay, that's the advice I can give you. And I must uh, congratulate the Booker team. I think they have performed excellently. And, uh, and uh, I, 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 I think. I think that the institutes is sending students to different localities to educate to educate the you know the the ultimate consumer of justice system that is the litigant that what are the rights he has for him to you know to take up an issue with the court if he has any issue. So and that apart uh, I in fact uh, uh, yes, uh, you know, in the end I must say that uh, I've been told that the finals were held today, the final of the movie held today. May the best team win and surely I think uh, the results would be declared in a short time. Uh, may the best team win. Thank you very much. In the, in the end uh, I must give it uh, 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 to the organizers for giving me this opportunity to be here. Thank you very much. And my dear students, yes.
it's really a pleasure to be associated with you people because as Justice Rao sir has rightly said, at the time we didn't have such type of group of competitions, not index, nothing at all. Being a practice at the time, we also interact with the intense and intense crowd. When we see these people, really we are astonished. The way they like you, their enthusiasm, and also they wanted to be a real advocate. It is very amazing. And sometimes I should confess myself, we people learn from you people. Because see, if you look at this professional point of view, whenever people come and the Oscars, ask me especially, how do you feel about this profession? Really I am telling you, it is a very, 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 very good profession in all respects. Respect the man, good in law, financially sound, in all aspects we get it, provided if we are sincere and hard worker. Don't go for any shortcut in any manner of one. Because the system itself develops in such a way, day by day, for the interest of the litigants as well as the legal system. Because of that only, first my study will be written with some attached to some advocate. Because judging in the court, it will always be a paper explaining both the advocates. So they will decide the case on the basis of the documents and the court. But here it is not. You have to judge a person whose ability is good. It's not good for the case point of view. Because how he is presenting, as I was told, one day he is the petitioner and other day he is the respondent. Other day he is the respondent, one day he is the petitioner. So you have to argue from both the sides. So judging the capacity of a person is more difficult than judging of a case. You people won't believe it gives a lot of internal satisfaction as well as support to you. And really, I should say this SIFT, imagine you people have come, almost 43 people from universities from all over India. Who are organizing, who will take responsibility of these students, spending money, providing facilities to you people, creating that much of atmosphere, it is only, I should say, Mr. Vijay Nandaliya can do it. Because I am associated with Mr. Vijay Nandaliya. Because I have so many people uh, on the dais who, are, uh, who have achieved so much that uh, I feel quite a little small here. So first and foremost, uh, a very good morning to everyone because uh, you know I like sunrises and morning is always very fresh. So I always say good morning. So uh, first and foremost, uh, I really thank FIMT uh, for having me here, for inviting me and uh, I was also, like Justice Rao said, that he thought he is here to judge a moot court competition. Even I thought that I am here to judge a moot court competition. <laughs> but uh, not an issue. So, uh, let me uh, just uh, say something. Uh, it's very true that uh, judging uh, what uh, Senior Advocate Mr. Rao also said that, no, uh, in courtrooms it's very easy, it's not that difficult. But in mood boards, it's much more difficult. The simple reason is, you must have uh, heard about this. You know, if you know the judge, then you can do wonderful. Knowing judge is not that, you know, personally you know the judge. It's, <laughs> what happens is that 
we keep on appearing in the matters and observing the honorable judges that you know what where they uh, you know what they like what they think how they articulate things what kind of questions they might ask what is needed to put forth to them but here what happens is all of a sudden some people come and they start judging you don't even know that you know what would be they asking you how would they actually articulate things and everything so it's much difficult for the students who are appearing in the mood for competition and that is the trick because when you are actually in that difficult uh, situation and you argue there senior advocate kp sundar rao shri vikan bhargava chairman of fifg uh dr nandan joshi chairperson of the fim group of institutions my younger sister professor rakesh kumar my younger brother advocate for those for the ban they are sitting on the table professor shavita gadita director of the fim school of law professor sarod vyas director of fim project i never miss it someone for to me for that i wish you all a very fine good day everybody has is me why is 29th of april very important in human history how many of you have the answer to it 29th of april 1969 why is it important why i said intuition i have lot of respect for dr hanthi ma'am i was thinking if i have speak today what should i say really i was saying i shall count some days in 20th century that was very important what came to my mind was 29th of april 1969 that day neil armstrong american scientist put his foot on moon and the same question was being asked here today to the person that when the man put his foot on the moon you can see you know please don't divorce intuition don't divorce spirituality don't divorce your inner self believe it believe your soul believe your mind believe your consciousness believe your conscience and have faith in it this is the actual strength this is the source of knowledge this is the source of understanding this is where from the fountain of knowledge fountain of thought and fountain of ideas flows that's how people have come from very illiterate backgrounds and they have guided their nations i don't know who taught confucius who was the teacher of swami vivekananda who was the best teacher more and more and more about it read a line many times it will mean much more to you i don't remember the words professor shavita will help me what are the two words of welcome in your emblem in fimt sir always says that kya hai sir do word kya hai jo welcome in your badora sa i would say there are people who have mantras maybe of any god i would say you dear fimt students and all those who are associated with fimt as the participants of fimt group please repeat it thousand times badara sa you will it will speak them to you what it means that is the basic thing touch your soul with it then your own inner self get a hack if it be if it means come alone get with us get ahead 
it will have a lot of meaning. That's why, besides other things I will say, you get your own inner self. Second, there are two terms 